What's up guys, Aeronius here with another Raid Shadow Legends video. Today I wanted to go over the new uh, Fragment Fusion. Uh, this guy right here, Versolf the Grim. So the, the Fragment Summon uh, event for him, I'm going to try to go for him. The reason why is because I don't really have very... Well, I do have some decent Knight's Revenant champs. So if I go to my faction here, and I'll show you what I have for faction champions for night rev come on too many here we go so i just pulled tomb lord for my night rev which is awesome i know he's really good i don't have great gear on him um, i also have skull crown maxed i have my senesha which i'm working on next i have her in a shield set but i might end up changing this out just because she's she is a support champion but i, I may just need to upgrade a couple of pieces on her to make her a little bit better like this piece right here I only kept it because it has two rolls on speed but I really want an HP chest plate on her because she is a support type but she also does a lot of damage I just don't use her in my arena team Tomb Lord I'm going to be upgrading next uh, I'd like to get him faster and uh, yeah so I have those three and then I have uh, Guardian um, and then if I go to my vault also subscribe Subscribe, 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 please. That'll help me out. I'll post some more videos. Keep posting videos uh, and bring you guys. And also leave some comments down below as well. I do have a couple others in here. But this guy I think is Night Rev. Not 100% sure though off the top of my head. But I have a few here that are in the vault that are also Night Rev. Uh, it's just that I need someone who can support even more because for, I need to try to get past a certain stage. And my Night Rev currently is at 39, so I'm trying to beat the second boss, but I keep losing at him. Uh, there's just not enough damage uh, that I can use, utilize right now to take the boss down, and I don't have enough support to keep them all alive. I don't have a Night Rev Reviver, so I have to go with um, Lifesteal and Regeneration Sets. So hopefully I can pull this guy. Uh, Versolf would actually help me a lot um, because he has the healing, I believe. So if I go to him here, he has the attacks one enemy. 50% chance of placing a provoke debuff for one turn and also places a shield buff on this champion. Two turns uh, equal to 10% of the max HP, so that's pretty good. Uh, chance of provoke is nice for the waves. Attacks all enemies, places an extra hit on enemies under stun, freeze, fear, true fear, provoke debuffs, and he has a 75% chance of placing a leech. So that's huge for survivability against the boss. Um, so if any of my champions need to help stay alive, he's going to help them stay alive. Uh, this, then this is another added bonus where he places a 60% increased defense on all allies for two turns and a 50% ally protection besides on him for two turns as well. And that's a three turn cooldown booked out. Uh, I don't really have any books, so I'll end up having to just deal with five turn cooldown. Uh, and then he has a passive, which when hit has a 20% chance of placing a provoke debuff on the attacker. I do wish this was a little bit higher because, I mean, provoke wise, 20% it's not that high. Um, you can probably put the mastery on him to make his passive 25%, I think. I think that the mastery works on passives uh, to add a 5% bonus boost to it. But honestly, I don't know if it's going to be worth it. Might be better to just build him in high resist or, uh, yeah, maybe try to do that. And then for his aura, he does have all battles by 33%, which is nice. Personally, him having high resist is great, but also you need to have high accuracy if you want to land the leech. So about 230 accuracy should be good for faction wars. Um, but yeah, so I definitely want to go for him. Currently, just to take a look at the news, if I look at the event, um, right now we have the Summon Rush going on, which is 10 Fragments from July 2nd to the 5th. So we've got a couple more days with that. The Summon Rush and the Champion Chase is going to be the hardest for any free-to-play player. So you have to make sure you've saved some resources. I have some resources. I have some shards. I'm probably going to end up pulling some shards because I need to get these fragments. I think you need at least five fragments. And typically on these fragment events, you have an additional chance to get more fragments. 
if you place first place. So um, you get a chance to have 10 extra fragments. So if you want to just stop at the first five fragments for the summon rush, that's fine. So if you have enough shards to pull, um, that's Tag Team Arena. So we're going to go to the events. So for the event, we've got the summon rush going on. So if you have enough fra uh, shards to pull just to get to this first five fragments, that's fine. You can stop at the first five fragments, but you have to make sure that when this second um, summon rush comes, or sorry, champion chase tournament comes, when this champion chase tournament comes, you have to make sure you get the other five or ten. And then you have to be able to beat every other event in order to get Versal the, the Grim. It also says each tournament will also award an extra five fragments to players who place first and second. So I'm trying very hard to try to place second place. Um, but just to take, just to show you how annoying it is when you're pretty high level free to play, you start facing people that are like end game, end game, super high spenders. And I just so happened to get someone that was is on Mac Chan's team or maybe one of his clans, but he has the Mad on him. So Tim Tim from Mad Clan. I mean, 2,232, that's kind of insane. I mean, that would involve constantly resetting with gems, or he's in, um, he's probably in Platinum for Tag Team Arena. And, and most people that are free to play are not in Platinum Tag Team. Most of you guys are probably stuck in Bronze, and so, when you're in a lower tier, you all know that you get less points for every win you get. So if he's in, if he's in gold, sorry, not not platinum, but gold. They haven't added platinum yet to uh, tag team arena, which I'm sure eventually they will. I hope they do. Platinum would be really cool in tag team arena. Um, but eventually, you know, if I ever get to gold, which will take me forever, then I would get more points per win. That could be another reason why this guy is so high up on the totem pole here. I mean, it's it's kind of insane though, to be honest with you. Just the fact, the sheer fact that I'm not even half of what he has, and I've actually reset my tag team with some. I've used some of my gems um, that I've been saving up for a while. So I ended up doing a refresh, and then I put on my defense. This is what you should be doing if you're going to be doing these Tag Team Arena um, tournaments. Put a level 1 on every one of your defenses, so that way you can keep getting beat. And then when you're really low, you can refresh the page, and you can just have easy wins. So this is what I typically do. I just go through Tag Team Arena tournaments. I put a weak defense. I try to get easy wins, which I'm sure even players that have played for a long time do this as well just so that they can get more tag team arena um, bars gold bars as well as trying to get higher and higher on the um, tournaments so it's a little bit taxing it's just tedious but if you really want to place first and second then you kind of have to do this um, and then you might have to spend some of your gems just to be able to get that tournament second place or first place potentially uh, I, I don't know if I'm going to get either, to be honest with you, because I'm so far off. So just to show you where I'm at, I'm 6th place on Tag Team. We have 2 days and 16 hours. And I'm only at 9.10. So for me to just get up here would be great. Oh, and I noticed that you don't actually get... Oh, that stinks. I wasn't really paying attention. But you don't get Versal the Grim uh, fragments from this either, which kind of stinks. But... I also am very interested in getting the Relentless gear from this, um, and that would be really nice. So if I take a look at this one though, this is the Spider's Den Accessories. Here's another one where I'm at 1100, and you know people do, I mean maybe they saved up a, a crap ton of, of uh, energy, but um, 8700, it's just very far reach for me. And my spider team is a roughly, I can beat spider 21. Um, I have to update my spider team to be a little bit better. But right now, spider 20, my team can do about two minute runs. One, one and a half minute to two minute runs. And uh, unfortunately, this person probably has a 20 second to 
50 second run team spider team in order to be that high plus saving all of his energy or purchasing energy to continue to um, add on and stack on points so these two people will get these I'm not going to be able to get the spider fragments I'm not going to get first or second place so that's that's a far reach so right now I'm just trying to go for relentless gear I wouldn't mind getting some relentless gear from here it would be really nice um, and even if I place third place that would be cool too which is really weak sauce <laughs> relentless gear like it's kind of crappy but it's better than nothing at all um, and then second place would be legendary relentless gear which would be fantastic for my account um, but but hey it, to each their own if you want to go for it go for it but right now I'm kind of just going through and uh, you know, farming where I can and doing as much as I possibly can but it's a tedious task if you want to get this guy you have to push as hard as possible and you have to keep pressing and maybe you have to use some of your gems to do it maybe you do some refills on your I mainly use my gems for energy refills I don't typically well sometimes I will buy uh, ancient shards with my gems if I have enough or I will upgrade my champions masteries but at this point I can just farm masteries uh, on auto and I can just do it overnight so for today I am gonna go ahead and pull some shards uh, I mean I have 1300 of these shards for mystery shards so I know I'm gonna get to at least a thousand to the first five fragments for Versal. so I will go ahead pull some shards it's targeted summons right now so if I do pull an ancient I have a chance to get Altan Valkyrie and Manaya for legendary and then from a void shard Sir Nick would be awesome that would be insane if I pull a void shard today and I get Sir Nick that would be game changing I don't have I still haven't pulled a void legendary on my account and then for the epics these are all really solid epics and this is kind of just going with basically shield champions um, so Melga Steel Girdle, a reviver for the dwarves, really strong kit. I'm not going to review these kits, but I just want to show you what they look like because they look so cool. I mean, this guy looks like he's, <laughs> he almost looks like he's a Super Saiyan, which is pretty sick. Um, and then the next one, we've got Logic Falconheart. He's really good. He has the two-turn cooldown shield, which is insane, equal to 20% of his max HP. And then the last one is Scathix, which he does also have a shield, and um, removes all debuffs small allies, and 20% of his max HP shield, but it's every four turns compared to Falcon Hearts every two turns. So with that said, I'm going to go ahead and pull some Ancient Shards. Okay, here we go. I did make some room, so I should have enough room to pull about 20 to 30 Shards. And once I hit an Epic or so, maybe I'll probably just pull about... 20 ancient shards and then go from there so one time let's see what we get all right we're gonna start it off with the crappy rare bombardier trash throw them in the garbage there's a uh, heria okay she's okay for a rare all right epic Why? 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 Where's the ten times? Marksman, I already have him. He's not that good. Let's get right back into it. We're gonna pull another shard here. Let's see what we've got. Nice, another epic. Tarshan? That's two epics in a row. I like it. I appreciate it. But Marksman and Tarshan I already have. And this is a ten times. Where is my Melga Steel Girdle or Falcon Heart. I want this guy right here, Falcon Heart or Melga, if I get an epic. Ten times chance? Come on. Alright, we're gonna pull ten. Come on. Let's get it. Another one. What what the heck? Is it is ten times even on? Torture Helm and Flesh Terror. I don't even think ten times is on. We're gonna do another ten. I'm gonna have twenty left. Let's go. Give me something. Give me something here. Come on. Grush the Mangler. Okay, there we go. Burangiri. We got one. Alright. So, 
I'm not so upset. I really wanted Steel Girdle, Melga, uh, or Falcon Heart, but we'll take it. He attacks one enemy, does a provoke. Attacks all enemies, 40% chance to stun, booked out to 60%. That's actually not bad, because he's a defensive based champion. Places a strengthen buff on all allies, also places a shield buff for two turns on all allies with less than 50% HP. Okay, there's a caveat, has to be less than 50% HP. The shield buff is equal to 15% of the target's max HP. Meh. I mean, okay. Personally, I'd prefer if it was just places a shield buff for ma uh, on them with 50, not even 50% HP or less. Okay. Uh, heals this champion by 50% of their max HP whenever an ally or enemy dies. That's kind of cool. And then resist in all battles by 40. Okay. That's okay. Um... I'm going to go ahead and pull another 10, and I'll still have 10 left. Just give me one more. Pharsalus Grave Dirt. I think this is a new epic. I don't... <laughs> That's... <laughs> I mean, I like his shield, but he has a... He literally has a shovel for a blade. Like, I guess he's kind of cool. He looks kind of weird, though. I don't really like his helmet, but everything else looks cool. Uh, <laughs> Alright, Grave Dirt. Let's see what he's got. He's defense-based champion. Okay, his damage is based on defense, which is nice. Attacks one enemy, has a 20% chance of placing a provoke debuff. Places a 50% decrease attack debuff for one turn if the target's under fear or true fear. Okay. Uh, attacks all enemies, has a 75% chance of placing a 100% heal reduction for two turns. That's okay. Places a shield buff on all allies for two turns equal to 30% of their max HP, and then also places a weak version of Strengthen on all allies for two turns. That's actually decent. Um, I wish it was 25% Strengthen because, you know, he's an epic, but we'll take it. It's Strengthen still. Immune to Fear and True Fear. Oh, that's really cool. I actually like this ability because that means in Knight's Revenant or any boss on Faction Wars, He's going to be immune to that fear and true fear, which is really cool. So he'll continue to place those strength and buffs and keep my team alive. Okay, this is actually a good pull. I really like this. Um, and then the rest of this one for his aura. Uh, let's see. Whenever an ally, or sorry, not aura, but passive. Whenever an ally HP drops below 50% from an enemy attack, has a 50% chance of placing a fear debuff on the attack for one turn. Whenever an ally dies, has a 75% chance of placing a true fear on all enemies. This guy's actually pretty sick, but he doesn't revive anybody, so you have to have a reviver. If he's in the arena, you have to have a reviver, maybe two revivers that are really tanky, uh, make him super tanky with really lot a lot of accuracy, and then maybe your nuker can uh, can nuke them down. He just doesn't have a he doesn't have decreased defense. But he does have defense and faction crypts. So this is good for faction crypts. So he's clearly made for faction crypts. Um, so he'd be a great aura lead with the 30% defense and faction. That's going to help me a lot. So I, I do like that. We're in it to win it. Let's go. Ten more. Come on, legendary. Legendary, legendary, legendary. Don't give me all blue. Don't do this to me. No. Okay, well that stinks. I'm going to pull my two void shards just to see if I do get anything. Uh, I should honestly wait, but I really want it, Sir Nick. So I don't care, I'm going to pull them anyways. Um, okay, this guy, Kurzad. And let's go one more. Dang, man, I always get Arbalesters. Okay. Well, so I did end up making it. I think I got to the fragment I needed, uh, 1,070. So I got 1,100. I would need 2,100 more to get there, which I'm probably going to stop there unless I pull a bunch of mystery shards, which I'm not going to do that right this second. I want to continue to give you guys content, especially if you have any interests uh, in specific content. Uh, please leave a comment down below and I'll try to bring you some videos in, in regards to that specific content you're interested in. But uh, that's going to be it for this video, guys. And uh, good luck, and have a happy fourth. Take care.